Let's talk about all the different types of needles. First, we have a filter needle. Let the name help you here. Filter needles are used to draw up medications from ampules to filter out glass particles after breaking open the ampule. These are not for injecting directly into the patient's skin. After drawing up the medication with the filter needle, you'll need to switch to an injection needle before administering. All right, next we have our blunt tip needles. These are used to draw up medications from a vial. They are safer to use because they help reduce the risk of needle stick injuries. They should never be used for injecting into the skin. You can see here how they are large and don't break through the skin easily. If they did, it would be very painful. Again, you'll need to switch to an injection needle before administration. Next, we have our injection needle. Like the name says, these ones are meant for injecting medication directly into the patient's body. Injection needles can be used for intramuscular injections, which are delivered into the muscle, or subcutaneous injections, which are administered into the fatty layer of the skin. All right, on to our insulin needles. It's important insulin only gets drawn up using an insulin needle, which is measured in units, not milliliters. You never want to draw up insulin in milliliters. You can see here the difference between three milliliters versus three units of insulin. This is a big difference. So always, always make sure you're using the correct syringe. All right, then we have our butterfly needles. They are called this because they're shaped like cute little butterflies. They are used for drawing blood, especially in those hard to access veins because it's such a small needle, making the process much less painful for our patients. Now onto IV catheter needles. These are used when inserting a needle into a vein for infusions. They come in different sizes with the smallest being a 24 gauge and the largest being a 14 gauge. We can choose the gauge of the needle based on the size of the vein, the purpose of the infusion, and the patient's comfort. And lastly, we have our intradermal or TB needles. This is for administering medication into the dermis layer, like the name says, intradermal. This is just beneath the surface of the skin. It's primarily used for administering TB tests or allergy tests. That's all for the types of needles. Be sure to follow for more nursing school and clinical tips. Happy studying, future nurses.